Last week, I solo backpacked in Valhalla Provincial Park on a trail known for their mountain goats that live up on the ridge. It was such an amazing experience, I decided to go back. About six hours away from my house, I chose a trail leading to a set of lakes, and this time, I'm bringing my mom along. I'm Madison, and in 2021, I packed everything I own in a car and moved across country to British Columbia. I'm making it my mission to explore the outdoors as much as I can while balancing my day job. This is my dog, Kiro, and no matter the weather, we'll be outside doing the things that make us feel alive. I am red in the face. This is harder than the hike. And it's 5.30, we're half an hour behind schedule. So I'm going so slow. Oh. I'm still getting used to the logging roads of BC, but my outback seems to be doing an amazing job. There's chicken wire at the trailhead to protect your brake lines from the porcupines that apparently like to chew it. We headed up to the trail Friday after work, so we got a late start and the sun was starting to set, so we really had to kick it into gear in order to get to base camp before the sun went down. This is about 20 minutes in and just over a kilometer. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. <laughs> side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're oh, looking for in My life. spot is freezing! Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I slept amazing. I highly recommend this sleep setup. Let me know if you want more details to it. The sun is shining in my tent right now. So I'm gonna go, let's see what we're look, working with. <laughs> Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon. Mornings are my favorite. I usually wake up around 6.30 or 7 and make coffee. Sometimes I bring it down to the water. And today was going to be a little bit different because we would actually be able to go in. Found what we're looking for in life. <laughs> There was a ton to explore around our base camp and we were leaving later that night. So we took advantage and tried to find what was around us. The weather this summer has been amazing. So we decided to go for another dip. It's actually really refreshing once your body goes numb. <laughs> We are officially packed up and we are heading out. It's three up and downs, so it's not gonna be all downhill from here, but look at this view. On the way in, this is the second lake out of three. We came in when it was dark, but it is so pretty right now. I don't think a lot of people camp here. I don't see any tent pads and it's definitely extra buggy because there is some still water pits. 
It's about 3.30 right now, so we should get to the car hopefully by 4.30. And then we have to hit that dirt road. It's a long way down. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Not venture, how was that? That was good. It was beautiful camping at the lake. Uh, it was a nice swim today, it was hot. Uh, not too hard of a hike, but it uh, was worth it. I liked it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Next week, we are going to the Banff area, so I'll be making a video about what to do if you're there for four days. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.